Hey everyone, this is Ian Carlin for another episode of the Marshall Vlog. Um, I am live streaming, um, but I really don't know how this is done. Uh, I have this thing up, it says group chat or whatever, and I don't even know how many people are actually going to log on and listen. If I don't like answer your questions or anything like that, it's not because I'm not trying or anything. Um, I normally don't do this live at all. Uh, I've, uh, I really am, am a bit behind on the technology as to how to do the live streaming where you're actually uh, asking questions and stuff like that. But that's kind of a little bit beside the point. I, um, I wanted to do this vlog for a little while where I talk a little bit about my biggest takeaway from Wing Chun or my biggest lesson that I learned from Wing Chun. Uh, you know, I've, I've talked a lot in the past about abandoning Wing Chun and I've talked a lot in the past about, uh, how forms and, and katas are not needed. Uh, and I stand by all of that. Um, uh, but it's not as though I didn't learn any good or, uh, valuable lessons from Wing Chun because I certainly did. And I don't want to diminish my my um, my time uh, training Wing Chun because it was in in many ways even though there were faults in many ways it was it was a good time and in many ways I I learned a lot um, uh, and so I want to kind of um, enumerate off the top of my head again this is just you know a vlog um, as uh, you know, my thoughts aren't like you know well put together or anything like that, I don't have any type of outline or anything where I'm just I'm just kind of you know riffing off the top of my head here. Um, I, uh, but I wanted to put together like some of the the biggest lessons that I took away from Wing Chun, uh, and I want to start with the biggest one, and maybe as I say that, some of the other ones will will come to my mind. Um, the biggest lesson that I took away from Wing Chun is how to be good at infighting. Now, why this was such a big lesson for me is because, believe it or not, as I grew up as a child, I was actually a very uh, timid kid. Even though I was involved in the martial arts, I was a very timid kid. I didn't get into very many fights at all. Uh, and in fact, um, I got beat up on a number of occasions when I was a kid. And later, when I started to learn martial arts, um, I, I still didn't like the fact of being in close, like it, it being in close really kind of scared me. And that's why I developed my kicks, even though like I'm not really built for kicks, like I'm not, I'm, I'm more of a stocky built type person, but um, I do have like really, you know, fairly super good kicks. Um, you know, I can do the front round and all that stuff. I did that because I did not like to get in because I was very timid. I didn't like to be hit. Uh, and I was very afraid of getting hit. Um, and even in my JKD years, uh, you know, or the couple years I was in, in JKD, um, you know, I, I would still, when I would fight with my instructor, I would use a lot of long range weapons. I wouldn't try to get in close. Um, and the and again the reason why is because I was very intimidated. I was very kind of um, I was very kind of um, um, afraid of being hit. Like I said, so but Wing Chun kind of drilled that out of me. And and the reason why it drilled that out of me was due to the fact that when uh, when I you know when I when you study Wing Chun, everything is from a connected position. And so being from a connected position, uh, I learned to be comfortable in close range. And learning to be comfortable in close range just made me less intimidated. So, I'm, I, so everything's from this connected position, from either a chi out connected position or a one-arm connected position, depending upon um, you know, what, what drill you're training, what school you're from. So I was... Um, uh, so when I when I did that when I started doing that and I started doing that for years I stopped being afraid of being in close um, and And it gave me really fast hands in which I carried over later And it just made me less afraid of fighting from the pocket now There are many times when I fight where I just say I won't step back where I just like 
I'll, I'll press in and I'm not as afraid of being hit. And I owe that to my Wing Chun training. And that's probably the biggest, um, the biggest uh, lesson that I took away from that. And, and, uh, and it meant a lot to me because like I said, as years of going through just, just being afraid of being hit or being afraid of being in, in that close range because being so intimidated of getting hit in the face and then every drill, you're basically in the range where you can get hit in the face um, kind of get, it makes you comfortable. It makes you comfortable there. So you're not as afraid because you know what you, because you know what you're doing. Um, and that is my biggest takeaway from, from Wing Chun. And it also gave me fast hands and it also taught me to trap. I mean, there's also, there's lots of good stuff that I learned from Wing Chun. And it's not, it wasn't all bad, but it was, but it's a limited scope. You know, it was a very limited scope. Uh, it, you know, it's not like it was some big, um, uh, it wasn't like a, a lot of lessons, but they were, even though it was a smaller amount of lessons, they were really important to me and they were really important to my development at the time. All right. So I don't know how to do any like Q and A or anything like that. I'm doing this live and normally what I do is I put this up and I put it up unlisted. Then I go back and and uh, type in stuff and then make it public. But I decided to do this live just to kind of give it a try. Uh, and, and I have absolutely, um, I have absolutely no idea how to take questions or anything like that. So I apologize if you're a viewer, you're watching and you're thinking, oh, I'd like to ask them a question. I have no idea how to do that. I'm just behind the times technologically. I'm trying to, to update that a little bit, but anyway, Thanks for joining me today you know, on uh, on Marshall Vlog.